नमस्ते टू एवरी वन वेलकम टू श्री गुरु योग विद्या यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर अ मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक विच इज़ रिलेटेड टू मेंटल हेल्थ सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल फेस लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स इन देयर लाइफ आई नॉट एबल टू गेट अ प्रॉपर सोल्यूशन फॉर एवरी प्रॉब्लम सो वी थॉट टू शेयर अवर एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड अवर नॉलेज इन दिस वीडियो by recommending what all the treatments and how to cope up with mental health issues how to treat yourself without using any medications so let us start by explaining uh, what is mental health so is a level of psychological well being mental health may include an individual's ability to enjoy life and create a balance between life activities and efforts to achieve psychological resilience mental illness or health conditions improving changes in emotion thinking or behavior or a combination of this mental illness are associated with distress or a problems functioning in social work or family activities so coming to emotional health is a important part of overall health people who are emotionally healthy are in control of their thoughts feelings and behaviors they are able to cope up with life challenges they can keep problems in perspective and bounce back from setbacks they feel good about themselves and have good relationships who gave the name for mental health William Switzer in the mid 19th century was the first to coin the term mental hygiene which can be seen as the precursor to contemporary approaches to work on promoting positive mental health Isaac Ray is one of the 13th founders of American Psychiatric Association further defined mental hygiene as the art of perceiving the mind against all incidents and influences calculate to destroy its qualities impair its energies or derange its momentums the origin of mental health clifford whittingham beers was the founder of the american mental hygiene movement the origin of mental hygiene movement can be attributed to the work of Clifford Beers in the U.S. in 1908, he published a mind that found itself, a book based on his personal experiences of admissions of three mental hospitals. The book had a great repercussion, and in the same year, a mental hygiene society was established in Connecticut, is a U.S.A. state in southern New England. why we need to consider mental health why is mental health is very important because it can help you to cope with the stresses of life be physically healthy have good relationship make meaningful contributions to your community and also working and work productivity realize your full potential risk factors for mental health conditions everyone have some risk of developing a mental health disorder no matter their age sex income or ethnicity social and financial circumstances biological factors and lifestyle choices can all shape a person's mental health what can affect my mental health There are many different factors that can affect your mental health including biological factors such as genes or brain chemistry life experiences such as trauma or abuse family history of mental health problems or lifestyle habits or consumption of proper diet and physical activities there are few other disorders also to consider based on the mental health problems anxiety disorder generalized anxiety disorder panic disorders phobia 
Obsessive Compulsive Disorder OCD Post Traumatic Stress Disorder PTSD Mood Disorders and few other disorders which can affect your mental health condition Early Signs There is no physical test or scan that indicates whether a person has developed a mental illness However, people should look out of the following as possible signs of mental health disorders. First is withdrawing from friends, family and colleagues. Second is avoiding activities that they would normally enjoy. Sleeping too much or too little. Eating too much or too little. Feeling hopeless. Having constantly low energy. Using mood alternating substances. including alcohol or other some sub- substances so displaying negative emotions to others and lot of confusion and having relevant and not relevant frequent thoughts having persistent thoughts or memories that reappear regularly hearing some other voice thinking of causing physical harm to themselves or others coming to treatment There are various methods for managing mental health problems. Treatment is highly individual and what works for one person may not work for another. Some strategies or treatments are most successful in combination with others. A person living with chronic mental disorder may choose different options at various stages in their life. Treatments can include how to treat yourself without medications is a main important aspect in mental condition psychotherapy talking therapies or healing sessions this type of treatments take a psychological approach to treating mental illness cognitive behavioral therapy exposure therapy and dialectical behavior therapy are examples psychiatrist psychologist psychotherapist and some other primary care physicians carry out this type of treatments so as per the doctor recommendation you need to attend this treatments and coming to a talking therapy this will be very helpful for you to overcome the mental conditions that to based on doctor recommendation or based on your own opinion and next is healing sessions people always think it is all fake but when you experience the results when you got healed about the particular element in your body then you will believe that it is working perfectly for you to know clearly spiritual practice like yoga asanas and meditation or pranayama are recommended by experts which will help you to come out of this mental condition very easily in a short period of time healing can help people to understand the root of the mental illness and start to work on their healthful thought patterns that support everyday living and reduce the risk of isolation and self harm so thanks for watching this video i hope this video is informative if you have any questions on mental health and spiritual growth messages on instagram thanks for watching subscribe to our youtube channel